Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hard Time 4 as we are playing with the Law Resistance expansion as the French Empire. Alright, so let's go in and jump into it. I posted on the last video a pinned comment uh, talking about some of the mistakes with the Navy that I made last episode. And uh, one of those was the fact that we assigned the Admiral here because these guys were originally in that fleet and now we need to move them. Uh, so move them from here and uh, place them into here. Uh, so they weren't getting any experience for those battles they did, unfortunately. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and move the planes that we have here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and split these up. Uh, let's just go ahead and reorganize them and split them into, like, oops, nope, that's not what we're trying to do. Uh, try and split them into, no, 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 we'll do it this way. Uh, let's do 25. And then we're going to take them and place them right over here uh, to help bomb some of this area. Uh, it would actually probably be better to have them right here. To have them bomb there, and then we're going to split this again into, oops, uh, into another 25 here. And then have them assigned right here to help bomb over here. And we'll see if that kind of helps out, helps our submarines out. Maybe we won't lose as many of them. Uh, another thing I kept saying is that we had a smaller fleet than the Italians. We don't, I mean, obviously not. They have a, well, we saw that, that they only had two battleships left and, and uh, nine uh, heavy cruisers. So obviously our, our fleet is larger than theirs. I don't know why I kept saying that last episode, why I was thinking that. Uh, I was under the impression they had a larger Navy than us, but they do not. Uh, so that was another thing I wanted to kind of clear up. Uh, so we're going to start with this episode today with moving our spy out of here because we're not even using them. And frankly, I don't know if we'll get to use them because they still haven't pulled them into the war yet. And we have resistance problems here. So let's go ahead and root out resistance. Uh, we're going to do it here because I think this is the center of it. There is bleed over. Uh, so if you have resistance in one state, then it'll bleed over to the other. And I think that's the source of most of it. And it's bleeding over into the other state. So we'll try and suppress it there and see if that helps. All right, so uh, we're just waiting out the winter, I think. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Oh, yes, there is, actually. We need to spend that, that army experience. And a couple of adjustments I wanted to make. Uh, first of all, we'll start with these guys. I've been waiting to do this to pull them out um, because we needed enough experience to do what I wanted to do with them. Uh, it's not just pulling those out. I wanted to also give them field hospitals, engineer companies. That's all we'll be able to give them for right now. So let's go ahead and save that. And... Uh, that might generate and see what that generated. Maybe some manpower and, and different stuff, equipment, I'm sure. I'm sure we got something from it. Uh, so just looking at the equipment situation, we're really short on support equipment. Uh, and then, of course, artillery we already know is an issue. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do in that regard. Yeah, there's not really anything we can do here. Uh, we do need to build stuff with our civilian factories. And, and that one car, man, I got this neighbor. He's got, like, the loudest car ever. Uh, it's so loud. And you always know when he passes by. I have to cut it from the video. I don't know if you guys heard the start of it, but you got to cut it out. It's so loud. Uh, let's go and build a... We could build here now in the 80%. We don't really have to worry so much that they're going to take that from us. Uh, so we're going to build there. Let's go and get in here. We're just going to build some military factories up, guys. We need, we need more. A lot more. Uh, so we're going to build couple more military factories maybe we'll get some dockyards after that and maybe we'll get a couple dark dockyards after we get these going here all right so again we're just uh, gonna wait out the winter here let them throw their attacks at us if they so desire uh, we still are having trouble there we might need to go ahead and bring another division there because you can expect that we're gonna lose there it does look like we're gonna lose there maybe we'll go ahead and send another one of these ones over there too to kind of make up for the fact that yeah they're definitely Definitely going to lose there. We might be able to win here, and that would actually reduce the front a bit. I'm going to try. Uh, let's try and do an attack here. Uh, and we're going to mainly use, you know, infantry divisions for this attack. Uh, but maybe we'll throw one of the motorized guys in there. Yeah, I suppose we can support here. Let's try and get that done, man. I just want to hurry up and get that, that battle won. Uh, get that province taken. So we sunk in one of the destroyers there. And, uh... Two of their convoys there. Now we got to get this finished up here. Uh, these guys should be on their way soon, and we'll get that division destroyed. And we'll have to figure out what we want to do with them next. Oh yes, Africa. Uh, this is one thing I forgot as well. Uh, so they're actually attacking us here. Um, so they're attacking us because this does happen to link here. Uh, so they're tempting to to win there, uh, but they're not gonna. Uh, but we don't have a port here, uh, so we actually should be back here. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure why that division's sitting right there out of all places. Uh, but I'd like to get these guys cut off here so we can get them destroyed. But yeah, there's other areas okay. too. Um, let's go ahead and move these guys over here. In fact, we'll have them take the railroads over there. Uh, oh yeah, somebody told me uh, something about that. So like, let's say we wanted these guys to, to switch from taking the railroads. If you hit Control B, then it'll switch it without you having to reassign it. So apparently that's a new thing. That's what he told me, and I don't remember it ever being. I never knew about it anyways. So I guess it might be something that was just recently added. Uh, so we do need to get this Portuguese situation dealt with. And why are British troops in our lands? They don't have access. We did not give them military access. I know for a fact we didn't. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring... Attention. I don't think we have to worry about them. We're, we're going to bring both of these. Well, we need to protect the port for right now. We'll just bring one division over here, uh, and then we'll try and take their ports and get them cut off and, and destroyed. Also, we do have territory over here that I gave up. I, I knew that that was there. Somebody thought I didn't know about it. I just don't care about it. So it's fine if we lose that. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so, yeah, we are going to lose there, so it's a good thing we are bringing more divisions there to help us out. They brought another division here as well, uh, and we just finished out that military factory. We should probably put it into artillery. Artillery is what we're really short on right now, having a lot of trouble in that regard. Artillery is just uh, too low. All right, so uh have to see uh, if the, how many troops they end up losing on all these attacks that they're doing. And Napoleon Six challenges. Oh, okay, that's right. Uh, we are doing the trying to get the war goal on them and uh if these guys are here we just want them to go straight into attacking try and get that one italian division wrapped up so that we can move those troops elsewhere and we are here now as well uh, so what we could do is go ahead and create a, a actual front here delete this and go ahead and start attacking across and we'll just have them go up along here and get the uh, port and the air base i'm sure they're using that air base to bomb our ships uh, so it's going to be very nice getting that dealt with. And yeah, we're just having a lot of trouble holding this one. I think it's because of the the fact that it's planes. Uh, but they are attacking across rivers right here and still having success. Which is interesting. I wouldn't expect that to be the case. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to lower the resistance that we're facing up there. Uh, by doing that. I have an operative over there. Uh, people were asking about how to get new operatives. Uh, we kind of discussed this before that oops, we need to become spy master, which to do that, you have to start your own faction. And I, apparently some people missed this part when I was mentioning it, but we can't create a faction guys. Uh, when we're looking in the focus tree, not until we defeat Germany, uh, which is really poorly designed. If you ask me, uh, that is stupid. Uh, why would France not be able to create their own faction going down the Napoleon route until after Germany's defeated? That's like your main rival. That's the main people you're going to be fighting. Uh, and then you don't get the creative faction until afterwards. Now, luckily for this campaign, the way I planned it out, they were supposed to be our mid-game enemy. Uh, our end-game enemies, the communists that are all around us. So once we create the faction, we still have people to fight, but Germany will have to be defeated. And that's the only way we'll be able to become the spy master. So it's, I don't like it, guys, but there's nothing to be done about it. Uh, so we can get it there. And then also, I discovered, because I wanted to look... If we had this, and we do, we have the elusive general gentleman. So if we were to get him, then we would get an extra operative. Plus you'd get an agency upgrade time reduction there. Uh, most of those upgrades don't take very long. But I don't know that we're gonna get that right now because we need to use our political power for a lot of other things. Right now, stability is like a serious issue, guys. It's like a major problem. We might need to do something about that. Uh, because remember those really nasty events fire. Uh, and Italy has called Costa Rica as our ally. Okay, so yeah, they're uh, they keep pulling in those American countries because the Mexicans keep on attacking them. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, and these guys are doing their attack. Did we wrap this up? We did. All right. So now we want to go ahead and get these divisions assigned elsewhere. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send. I have a plan here, guys. Uh, we're gonna send these guys over to here. Um, and I, I mean, I guess we could send them all over to there. I suppose. For what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm going to do a naval invasion, guys. So, yeah, let's just assign all, all of them. Uh, so get them all going over to here. And then we're going to want to have the naval invasion set up. We're going to try and invade right there. See how that ends up going. All right, so they're going to take care of that for us. And we got to come back here to Africa and see if there's anything we can do here. We're still waiting to get that division there. And uh, this division here is still coming over here. All right, so... 
Gotta get those, uh, those little bit of a territories for the Portuguese taken out. Uh, we did get the Air Force Department. That means we are done with all the intelligence uh, upgrades. Uh, let's do the anti-partisan one now because that's what we currently have a guy doing. So I think that'll be helpful. And uh, we have to keep our eye on this guy because he's just about done. I want to go and get him placed somewhere. Although I'm not entirely sure I'm going to place him just yet. And yeah, I think we are going to end up losing here, unfortunately. Got another guy going there. Let's send another one. And then also bring this Green Army Division over there. I don't know if we'll be able to hold that, guys. It does look like we're going to lose there. All right, let's see uh, what we sunk here. We sunk a convoy. Those are our planes. Uh, we lost two submarines. All right. Whatever. <laughs> so we uh, sunk two Portuguese submarines, three Portuguese submarines, and uh, bombed them all the way over there. And then whatever this is, light cruiser. We just bombed. All right, so this will help taking that airbase. And is there anything I'm neglecting? No. All right, so uh, should win there. Uh, so that's good. These guys are attacking into mountains and across a river, so that's super stupid. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to take very high losses, and we don't have enough equipment to for our garrisons. Okay, we, we are having some support equipment issues, unfortunately. It's uh, pretty short in that regard. All right, so I don't think we're going to build any more divisions till we get all these equipment issues dealt with. Plus, we're really starting to burn through manpower. We are taking losses in this war. I mean, they're not high losses, but we're taking some. Uh, we did take that province, so that's great news. Uh, but it looks like they took that province from us. So now we've got to attempt to get it back. Uh, so I'm going to try do the attack from over here. Uh, and right. we'll let that guy go. This guy's going here. Oh, no, they, they can't. Okay, so they'll have to go over here. All right, well, let's go and attack that guy then. And then everybody else needs to get their organization up a little bit higher. We're going to try and get that province back. We'll see if we can't make that happen. Uh, and they actually are winning across here, uh, having success attacking us. All right. Uh, so it's been a little bit more challenging than I was Bye. expecting it to be. All right, and then those guys are getting over to there. Let's see if we are here yet. We are. Uh, so let's go ahead and take their ports. I'm going to try to come sweep through here and take all their ports. Uh, and we all should right. have... Nope, he's not quite done yet. And we're keeping here these guys here for... If the, the Spanish ever join, but I don't know if they're gonna. Uh, I haven't seen anything, any indication that they're gonna join anytime soon. We continue losing submarines, guys. Uh, so that's a problem. All right, well, let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, replace some of these losses. Uh, we can take like two of these. This guy's gonna get trained in battle. I'll replace those two. Uh, everybody's in battle right now, so we can't really merge any of them right now. Okay. And just trying to find the Italian Navy. I don't know where they're at. Uh, I wonder, let's, you know, let's take a look at their intel. Let's see if we can't figure out where the hell they, these guys are at. Uh, so this is not where we, we want to look at it. Let's look, look at the civilian intel. Uh, so they're currently, they have one capital ship in production and six screens and then two that are either going towards submarines or convoys. And that's other 10. Uh, okay. So seeing, I wanted to see if they were using them for repairs. Uh, right now, they're only using one dockyard for repair. Uh, but we can go ahead and try and do some port strikes. I'm going I'm to try, guys. Uh, we actually have some extra, uh, some extra tactical bombers. And we're going to go ahead and build some, start the, getting the, the tactical bombers building as well, guys, because we haven't, haven't done that yet. So let's try and do a, a port strike here. And also, we're going to go ahead and assign, we could also move these guys a little bit closer so they have better efficiency here uh, since we have that air base. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the fighters that are in Italy here, move him over there. Uh, and then we have the, the tactical bombers, which are here as well. They're not really being impacted by the efficiency, of course, uh, but we'll move them anyway. And then the one of the fighters we have in the Alpine region, we're going to move to here. All right, and we can actually just move. We should just move to all of them. Okay, so that should help out. Uh, should make things a little bit better, actually. Maybe we should do this a little bit different than what I just did. Let's have the tactical bombers here. Uh, oh, oops, my bad. We want them here, and then we'll move the close air support, wherever the hell they're at, and have them over here. And maybe we'll have better luck in this situation where we are right now currently losing. Right. Trying to gain that, that province back. Remember, we're not trying to do too many attacks over here because of the winter, mostly letting them attack us. 
Um, but if we do see areas like here where we might be able to get a win, or at least be able to help with the defense, uh, then we'll go ahead and do the attack. It looks like that is green, so we should be able to get a win there. Uh, also, a lot of these divisions are pretty weak right now. But we might be able to attack here and get this done. Alright, you know what? Let's just go and let our troops move around. This is clearly not going to be a win. Let's get our troops all moved. Stop trying to force that. I uh, lost another submarine. How long until these guys are ready? Uh, it's going to be 35 days total. Okay, so we got to wait a little while. Alright, let me just take a look and see if these guys are advancing. They are. Uh, and then we have these troops here, which... I uh, don't know. We're going to need another division here, frankly. Could get that guy cut off, though. Uh, but then he'd be open to take our ports here. So we're going to have to wait till we get another division over there, which we actually have uh, a guy training that we can send there as soon as he's done. Uh, we could also just send... We have those guys there to take that territory, and I kind of want to keep them there. Do we have anybody along here that we can pull off? Uh, we actually have an excess division here. Okay. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to place these guys onto this attack then. Then go and start moving over there now. And this guy. This guy will move over here. It'll take him a little while to get over there. That's okay. Uh, well, it's actually going to take a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, he's got to go all the way around, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, well, whatever. What is wait for him? He'll get there eventually. Eventually, guys. All right, so we are losing there. We're losing here as well. Just pull that back. That's not going to work. Uh, and they're about to take that air base over. Okay. Well, we didn't sign anybody there, so it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've done in the seas or lost in the seas. It's two, or those were two uh, Italian submarines, excuse me. So we did sink those. Uh, and we lost two of our own, so trade off there. Two more Italian submarines sunk. They probably don't have very many submarines left. I wouldn't expect that they do. It seems like they shoot it. Uh, just how much they've lost already. Uh, so this guy's gonna go ahead and grab that for us and then we're gonna have him go back up to here more than likely. Uh, make sure that we have a good amount of divisions up there. Uh, we could also send him, I suppose we could send him over here. Help us get this wrapped up. Oh, we have another division over here. Okay. And yeah, we can send him to Africa so that he can help us wrap Africa up. So that'd be an option. Could also send him into that. I don't think that would be the best place for him, though. I'm just looking for what we've got along here. Yeah. I guess we'll send him to Africa. Make sure that we're able to get that wrapped up soon. Uh, so we don't have to prioritize it anymore. I don't have to keep popping down there to see what the hell's going on. Uh, we have a decision available. Let's take a look see what this is. Emergency factory conversion. Okay, we don't want to do that. Uh, that is right there. So we're not interested in seeing that. Let's take a look and see what we've done throughout here. And uh, just more convoys sunk. Those are, remember, those, a lot of those are troop convoys. Uh, and we've built enough military factories now where we filled out the things that we already had them assigned to and we still have space to get some stuff so let's go and build this up it's it's right now artillery is the main issues but we also have support uh, support equipment problems uh, that's a problem too all right so we're gonna have to get some factories put into that uh you know what yeah we'll, we'll leave this as is and let's see how we're doing on, on building military factories so i'm gonna go and get two more military factories and then we'll do some dockyards after that uh, so just do military factories here and then we'll do dockyards after we finish those up okay uh, so, let's go over here. Oh, we lost that right there. All right, so what we're going to want to do is have that guy go here, and this guy come on over here. So I guess we won that. I'm not entirely sure that happened. Moving a division over there as well. We are winning that. Uh, so let me see if I can't. Costa Rica has capitulated. I'm going to see if I can't get the win here now. Try and get this done. Yeah, we're going to get the win there. And that'll be uh, one less province that we have to defend, so it'll help us out overall. Alright, and we got a naval combat going on right now. Alright, so let's go and dip back over here. Uh, and they're still attempting to attack us there. We're going to go and grab that province right there. And yeah, they keep on taking this territory up here. And they're going to keep on coming down here. That's a problem, man. Alright. Kind of irritated me. It's all there. Attention! All right, this guy's gonna go over this way. And, oh, yes, yeah, that's right, he's gotta go all the way around. <laughs> Such a bummer, man. <laughs> uh, we could 
try and get access. Oh, yeah, they're not going to give us access. They're about to be at war with us. All right, so yeah, we just got to wait till they get up here. It's just going to take time, man. Uh, but yeah, we're about to lose the Continue port here, so I almost want to let him. You know what? Let's let him go here. Let's retreat back to the port so we don't lose it. And then he can go here, and then this guy here will uh, then attack the port and cut these guys off. Uh, we'll destroy them. Uh, so we sunk another one of their submarines. Thought they were out of submarines. <laughs> Apparently not, though. Uh, so we're winning there, uh, and we actually have somebody going across the river here. That's or, that's just dumb. Uh, we're not winning any longer, so we're gonna have to pull that back then. So they're actually, despite it being winter, I mean, I imagine they're taking massive casualties, but uh, and they're actually making some success there. Uh, so we're going to get a ton of civilian factories, uh, so that would be nice to get. But guys. I am not going to wait any longer. Our efficiency is so garbage. I do want the extra research slot. I do want to get that colonial industry. Uh, that is a ton of civilian factories. It's like eight civilian factories. But guys, we can't get anything built, man. It is terrible. I was expecting this to, to make it more efficient, but it hasn't done anything yet. I don't know how long. I don't remember when we got that, uh, but we can't keep waiting. And then also, uh, if I think that one of these gives you... Oh, this one gives you stability, and we need stability too, man. We've got, we just got problems galore uh, that we need to get taken care of. Maybe we should do the Protects the Rights Man now just to get the uh, stability problem fixed. Because we get those, we can get those nasty events. Those can be just devastating. It just sucks because we need that, man. Uh, but yeah, we're we're dealing with a lot of issues, guys. Uh, we have a lot of problems. I was kind of worried that this was going to happen with the war, that it was going to end up uh, turning into this big old thing. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it was something I was expecting could end up happening. I was hoping it didn't, uh, but it's exactly what happened. I was hoping we could defeat them quickly, uh, but that is not how this went down, unfortunately. All right, let's take a look at the Africa situation. This guy's still retreating. Yep, he's retreating. Oh, and they actually have troops there. Okay. Uh, is that where their port is? That's where their port is. I thought it was here. Uh, so they're bringing more divisions into Africa, the Portuguese are. Uh, all right. Well, do your thing, man. So we're trying to take their, their ports here, waiting for more divisions. Somebody to cover that. That port for for us. Uh, I almost want to go ahead and, and see if we need to improve. Oh, we can deploy those guys. Let's just deploy all these. We're done uh, with that for right now. We could also give these guys some field hospitals, uh, and then we'll make up for some of the losses here. Though, given this is going to require more support equipment, which we're short on, uh, but I think giving them the field hospitals would be helpful. Uh, of course, they're going to be worse overall in many stats. So what we could do is try and give them. The engineer companies to improve them yeah we'll do that again that's going to cause more issues with the sport equipment that we already have <laughs> enough problems as it is wow that's a lot more sport equipment required than i thought it was going to be i guess we have a lot of those divisions don't we all right that's a problem uh yeah that's a massive problem okay we're gonna have to pull back on the artillery then and start ticking into getting some of this going to the sport equipment pull back on infantry equipment too uh, how are we doing on motorized? Motorized is just barely in the positive. Frankly, we're in the negative on just about everything. Uh, we just can't get anything built, which is the reason why we're going... Well, we're trying to get the stability fixed first, but that affects it too. So, I mean, look at our factory output. Negative 15% there, and then negative 20%. Uh, we still have this too, with that damn full employment. Uh, and then, yeah, the negative 20% uh, here. That's... 35% penalty right now that we're getting to our factory output. That is so bad. Attack over this way. Got trouble getting that win there. And the state of Japan wants overlordship of our colonies. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, they want to take all of our territory. Uh, we're going to have to tell them a no. That's a big fat no. I ain't giving you nothing, man. Uh, so they're going to try and advance that way. I'm okay with that. Let's go and take that port uh, that they're not defending. Which is silly on their part, but all right, uh, and do our, I mean, we got mixed up. Do our, our guys here, our foreign legion have, uh, not foreign legion, excuse me, our uh, Orangos, they they need to be changed out to the MPs, but we haven't researched that yet, have we? Okay, uh, that's what I was trying to change these to. We need to get MPs, basically. Okay, I'll have to wait. Attention. Uh, these guys are done now, awesome. Uh, where do we want to put them? Could move them over to here. We actually have three divisions. That should be enough to take care of that, though. Uh, so we can move them on over to here. I guess that's what we'll do. Although, man, I hate that we just have them uh, just sitting here when we're over here and I like, needing troops. 
Uh, but I, I need to be able to invade Spain quickly. Uh, Spain looks like they're... Or, I mean, it's Spain against Spain, but Carlos Spain looks like they're losing. I'm guessing that the common turn has sent troops there. So yeah, it looks like we're about to lose there. So they have had some, some mild success on their offensives here, which is surprising. I didn't expect them to. Uh, but yeah, they have had some success. Uh, so maybe what we might want to do is change this up a bit, because we're in the mountains here, and we could always just... Ah, we'll wait. It's fine. We'll leave it as is for right now. Alright, so they're doing the special training, making sure that they're full experience level. And uh, let's see what we sunk here. Six Italian destroyers. Okay, we haven't sunk a lot of surface ships, uh, so that's helpful. All right, and it's still engaging in all their convoys as well. Could send the division off out of Syria, but we won't. Hopefully our troops make it. Uh, you know, obviously we're sending them really far. Uh, we have taken that port. They still have multiple ports left, though. They have two more ports we'd have to seize in order to get them completely cut off and supply. And in fact, it looks like they're about to cut us that's off, true. so uh, that's... Uh, well, we won't be cut off because we have the port there, but... Alright, so I'm just not going to protect this here because they don't really have anywhere to attack us from. So All let's right. just go ahead and go here. And then we'll attack those guys. And let's go ahead and attack that CAD division and we won't win. Alright, so we just got to wait. Going to have to wait. Alright, and yeah, they have uh, gotten all around us here. And if we could just win right here, as soon as they leave, then these divisions would be cut off. That's 19 hours away. It's sometime on the 22nd of February. And I'm noticing all green with the exception of that one right there. We could always give it up, but I'm going to make them fight me for it because it's a mountain uh, mountain province. So well, that's costing them heavily, them doing that. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, okay, they went right there. Interesting. Uh, let's go and grab their port now. Uh, yeah, they ended up cutting us off. Uh, so we're going to try and cut all these guys off. Uh, but frankly, we don't have enough troops down here to really make a serious effort. Uh, I just don't have enough. Uh, he is going to leave. We'll try and we'll try and continue our tactic of cutting them off, but we'll see how well that ends up going. I almost want to send another division off over there because it is, there has been, uh, so problematic. Bye. Yeah, maybe we will send send them. Well, what I should do rather than have them go all the way around, this is stupid. <laughs> I have these guys going all the way around the seas. No, no, no. Go over here, and then go this way, and then we can go around here, and it's so much quicker. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm not doing it that way. Attention. Uh, so this guy's gonna go. We'll have him go here then. I think that's the only one we have going. We can also send him out of here, though. There is some resources here that we can get. But I think we need to hurry up and get this this war in Africa got done. So let's send him over there, and then we can always send it back later. So we're sending two divisions over there, and then this division that I was sending uh, here, we're gonna do differently. We're gonna send him up here, and then that's the way he'll go. Uh, and then I think we're actually going to send one more, and this will allow us to send them quicker as well. Now, maybe we should go ahead and actually have all the African troops put into an army with a general, because they don't actually have one. So that's what we'll do. Uh, let's go and create a new army here. And then we're going to have him go up here. And then same deal here, just go and get all these guys placed into an army so they actually have a general. All the uh, African troops and get the field marshal bonuses as well. Uh, so let's go and give him somebody. Uh, probably somebody with a... Oh, we definitely want somebody that has a, a good supply consumption, so let's go ahead and do him. Charles Hunt Zieger, something like that. All right, so yeah, they're taking this territory here from us, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, it's steel that we have, but we still have control of it. Uh, but I don't know... Yeah, there's nothing here, but they're going to take that from us too. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get get control of that, and we're going to try and stop them from getting any ports over here, and then hopefully get them destroyed. All right, we'll have to wait for that guy to leave. When does he leave? Uh, it looks like he might have changed that. Maybe they pulled him back for a split second, because I thought it was uh, quicker than it was. Uh, we did... No, we haven't won here. Never mind. <laughs> I thought we, were, we had finally won there. I was like, hey, we finally did it. We did do it, guys. Uh, we got a dockyard, uh, so let's get this designed. I think that was one that was repairing, actually. Uh, we'll put them here into the uh, destroyers for now. And see what we sunk here. We lost a submarine. Uh, I do want to take a look, see how many submarines they got left. Uh, total Navy, Navy Intel here. They've got no submarines. All right, so we won't be sinking any more of those. They have destroyers, 75 destroyers, 20 light cruisers, and then, of course, their cap all their capital ships. 
We haven't had any success in bombing them, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, look at this. I think they're going to lose this territory here, which would then free us up. And I, I think we're just going to go ahead and do it now. Let's, let's do it, guys. I think this is freed up. Let's go ahead and have this whole army here uh, come up along here to, to do it, launch an offensive. I still want to cut these guys off, um, try and grab Venice. Maybe we'll do that. We'll sign them here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have them go right here. Oh, nope, not right there. We want them to go right here and then give them an order to attack that way. And then we're going to make some adjustments once they get over there. We're going to make some changes. Uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and put Attention. these guys there now. Oops. All right, so let's go ahead and say you guys are going to go there. And then we're going to pull the green army back. If I can find them here. Is that the green army? That's the blue army. I want the green army. Uh, so... Huh. Yeah, that's the green one. All right, so we're gonna want them to go like this for right now. Just pull them back a little bit. I'll bring some of these troops out of here, and then we're gonna have this guy here. Oops, I keep on pressing the wrong button. All right, have him go there as well into the red army, and uh, that looks good. Uh, and then we'll have six divisions in this army here. Maybe we'll give them a couple more. Uh, do we have any extra divisions here? We do not. What we need to do is uh, move these guys here into this front. So everybody will go into that one. Just delete this for now. And we'll still have to keep them here, though, unfortunately, because you need Hold one. Up. Because once they do conquer all this, we'll still have to defend it. Uh, I mean, I Attention. doubt we'll have them attack. God damn it. I'm trying to select the province. I can't select the province. Bye. It's impossible. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't need to, but once they told me I couldn't, I said I had to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you still need eight divisions, which is what we have in there. All right, well... It's unfortunate. Okay, uh, so a lot of equipment problems, as we've pointed out many times. Light self propelled artillery short, support equipment short, artillery short, everything short. Uh, we're having just some a lot of difficulty with the equipment. Uh, this should hopefully help uh, relieve some of the pressure up there in the north. Uh, so that's going to be helpful. And what we'll do is we'll send our fleet over here, that extra task force that we have. We're going to send them right here so that they can't cross. Uh, that's the idea anyway. All right, so let's see how they're doing. Uh, attacking our port. Uh, we've taken their port. Let's go and attack them here now. Uh, and I hope we can get them killed. Uh, remember, they don't have any damn supply. They do have an encirclement penalty, penalty as well, but yet we still can't win, uh, despite that fact because of the equipment we're lacking. Uh, so that's a shame. Uh, and oh, they're winning that attack, so I guess we'll let it continue. Uh, let's go and grab this here. And so I'm just trying to get these guys cut off in supply. If we take that and then they move up there, then maybe. Uh, I think they're moving there now. Uh, when do they get there? Four days and three hours? We should be able to beat them there. And then they'll have to attack us for it. Uh, but we need more divisions here, guys. We can't, can't get nothing done because we don't have enough troops. Uh, so we're still trying to attack there as well. I don't think we're going to win. Win in that defense, though. And if Spain, Spain does join, then we'll be able to take that territory from them. All right, uh, so still doing well on the uh, defenses, uh, and that one's just going to be difficult for us to hold, apparently. Uh, we've gotten the anti-partisans, uh, so we could go and continue uh, getting stuff here. Uh, we can't get an operative yet. We should probably get the inter interrogation techniques. Maybe we'll get that after that, uh, but I kind of want to get this. We could also do the... Uh, where is it? Uh, the radio interception group so we can decrypt faster. Uh, but let's do this one um, because I think that would be uh, really helpful. Maybe capturing some spies. Uh, we haven't captured any yet. Uh, we also have some options available here because of our spy here in Italy. Uh, we can infiltrate the civilian administration. We can plant false intelligence. I don't know. I know that there's a, a mission where you can you know make them think that you have uh, divisions where you don't. So there's that ability. You can also make resistance contacts, but they're not going to have any resistance across here. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to be useful for us. Okay. So we are actually losing that defense there, which I didn't expect to lose that. But yep, we're losing the defense there, despite the fact they're attacking across rivers. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and pull the green army back now down to here. That division will kind of make his way down there. And then uh, we'll try and attack over this way and see what we can do. No, we're still waiting for the red army to get over there. Uh, they're making their way. They should be All here right. soon. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys now go to the port over here. Oh, shit. Fuck you. <laughs> That's not what I wanted you to do at all, man. Come over here, and then head on over to the port here. Although we might end up losing it soon. I'm gonna try and get him there. We'll see if he gets there in time. All right, so we're still trying to win here and not having a lot of uh, success there. These guys are now failing as I expected they would. Uh, we did get there in time, so they have to actually attack us. All right, so if we could just get to that province there, once they're done attacking us, maybe we can get them cut off. Still waiting for troops getting over here, the two divisions, and uh, it'll be a little bit more open on what we can do there. Uh, three more days, and then we'll be able to launch the invasion of Sicily. And it looks like we sunk another convoy there. Okay, and remember, these are all troop convoys, so they're losing troops, and I'm, I'm going to guess that a lot of those are Italian troops coming from East Africa. I would assume, right. and we are attacking there, which we don't need to do. Uh, this is open, though, so here's what we're going to do. Send these fast division, that fast division over there, and we'll grab that up. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this attack simply because to lock them down, you know. Uh, but, yeah, it does look like we're going to lose this here, which is a shame. I'm going to actually send that Ren division here, this first one that gets here. Maybe we'll send all these guys here so the help of the defense so we don't lose it. And since we're not going to do that attack just yet anyways, there's still probably some snow on the ground. So we'll just wait. Uh, we did want to get the planning bonus up for him, but it's okay. Uh, we lost another submarine, unfortunately. Let's take a look and see how our submarines are doing. Uh, see if there's anything we can do here. All well, these guys are in the middle of attacks right now, but we can go ahead and take them and then apply put them in the other. Let's take both of them and put them over here. All right, awesome. So couple more days, and we're going to launch this invasion. One more day, in fact. Let's see how things are going in Africa. Uh, we were able to win there. Awesome. This Easy failed, though. Uh, and they're going to go over there, and that's fine. Uh, though they might have enough local supply there. It's hard to say. Uh, these guys would be cut off if we could just... Actually, I think they are cut off from supply. Yeah, I think they are cut off right now. And they need to be connected here. So, they're currently cut off from supply. We just need to get more divisions down there, man. Into Africa. I didn't want to fight in Africa, uh, but, you know, we kind of got forced into it. So we're bringing our Red Army over here, and this should help with the defense uh, so we can keep that province. And then we also got our Mountain Infantry bonus, so that's actually going to be super helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next passive bonus here for them. For all of our troops. And uh, let's just go ahead and have... I mean, I don't even care. Whatever. It, it's fine. It can, it can adjust itself. I'm not going to mess with it, guys. And he is not taking the railroads like I told his ass to. Good God. Come on, man. You're killing me. I probably uh, misclicked it or something. I'm sure it's my fault. I'm going to blame him. All right, let's go ahead and do the naval vision and see if we can get control of Sicily. Uh, we need to do something here, guys. Uh, and we did get that control of that again. Awesome. So let's go ahead and stop the crappy attacks here. And it looks like that will now result in us... Uh, Winning that defense, which is good news. All right, we got a military factory, uh, so let's get this assigned. I feel like support equipment's like the major issue right now, so we're gonna go into that. I know we're also lacking artillery, pretty hardcore, uh, but really, I mean, it's just it's just everything at the moment. We got a lot of problems, uh, so we're trying to get another division to them. I don't know if they're gonna win here. I'm surprised they're able to win. I know it's two, it's one division attacking across the river, and he's cut off from supply. That's that's interesting. I know he's a garbage division, and we even, right. we made him worse. Uh, let me see if we can win here now. We can't. All right, we just need to wait. Need to be patient, man. All right, so he's attempting to attack there. Uh, we could cut them off if we took. Let me see if we can't. Trying to see a way to cut these divisions off here. Where's this guy going? He's not doing anything. If we won there, we'd cut them off. Uh, but yeah, that's not going to end up working. What we'll have to do is go here and just cut all these guys off then. Yeah, we'll cut both of them off. Alright, we are missing equipment and production. Tactical bomber, okay. We're going to build some tactical bombers. Uh, the next factory will go towards them. 
Uh, looking at our factories. Uh, you know, we're gonna go and do dockyards. We're gonna do two dockyards, guys. Uh, let's get two dockyards building after this military factory, since I did say we would do that. All right, we're still training up troops as well. All right, uh, so we are holding out on this area. We did lose this, though, and we did have control of this at a, for a time. Uh, we've already we lost control of it, unfortunately. Once this defense is over, the Red Army troops can go back to what they were supposed to be doing. Uh, let's take a look at what the uh, the battle was here. Uh, it's just bombing submarines, and they're bomb and we're bombing their destroyers. Uh, and they end up sinking our submarine. All right, it's a shame. We only have a uh, 25. Uh, bombers down there, so it's not right. exactly surprising. And where did the division go that was here? Where did he go? Where'd he go, man? <laughs> He's gone. That's mysterious. That doesn't make any damn sense, right? Okay. Well, whatever would take this province is. I don't know where he could have went. He can't get out of here. He doesn't have a port. Oh, there is a port right there. Oh, we don't have a port. Okay. Right. I see what was going on here. There. I left in the port. I thought that the port was here. <laughs> All right, so that was my mistake. Uh, my bad, guys. All right, so uh, still trying to get that province there. Uh, let's go ahead and have, uh, well, do we want to go ahead and just make him attack us? Is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. Can we beat him? He has a cab division, so probably not. Yeah, one day in 16 hours, five days. Okay, so we can't beat him. Uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and start working on getting them cut off here. So let's go and grab that province. That'll be, how long is that gonna be? Seven days, two hours. Everything takes so long here, making any kind of movement. Three days and 12 hours there. Still waiting on those divisions to come up over here, guys. All right, so it is all green across here, so that's good. Have more success in Italy now. Uh, but this has overall just been uh, a lot more costly and took a lot much longer than I was expecting it to. Uh, which is unfortunate. Oh, we did finish our naval division. Oh, damn. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so let's go ahead and take these guys here. Uh, and uh, nope, not those guys. These guys here. Put them down here so make sure they have an admiral. And we'll give them, like, they're going to be doing bombardment tactic technically. That's what they're going to be doing. Also, they don't have any. Hmm. Oh, that guy has to go all the way around, doesn't he? Let's go ahead and send this destroyer here. He'll make his way over here soon because uh, they don't have very many destroyers. So let's move them over to here. And then let's start getting these troops Attention. moving like rapidly. We're gonna go there as quickly as we can. Attention. With our better divisions, uh, right. with the exception of one of them. Yeah, well, these guys will go up here. Yeah, okay, so all the way across then. All right. all right, so Sicily should hopefully be in our control soon. I'll have to watch it, uh, which you know I won't. <laughs> So that should be damaging to them, but we have to watch it to make sure if they send troops down here, which it does look like they're, yeah, they're starting to beeline troops down there. Uh, which should help us up on this front as they pull divisions off of it. All right, yeah, they're looking good across it. And they're taking attrition as well. Uh, so I, I'm gonna be really interested to see how the uh, casualties are gonna look here. Where the hell did this guy come from? Is he, where the hell is he at? Is he here? It looks like he's here. Um, but how could they be there unless they have military acts, but you wouldn't be able to track attack from a neutral country I wish I knew where he was at. I mean, he's got to be here, right? Oh, yeah, he'd have to be here. It's just them. Okay, so the icons just weird We've gotten the port. Uh, we're about to get this we might as well finish it, but yeah, we need to we need to go help out this division We're about to lose him we could also send them by sea, and get them out of there. Uh, so we're now here, and these that means these divisions are now cut off. Uh, we could also attack from right here. We're almost here, though, so might as well finish it up. Uh, and then these guys are going over to right there. I wonder if we could win here. We could try. It's not a win. So we'll have to wait till he leaves. Oh, yeah, our divisions down here aren't great. Doesn't help that I also just took a, one of their battalions from them. All right, so that destroyer's making his way down. They do have troops here. Okay. Uh, so that's something to consider. That they do have some troops. Let me just see if there's anything I can do. I mean, it's just the equipment is so short, man. They're just like really, really short on equipment. Uh, our production is just absolute garbage, guys. Uh, so I'm hoping this will help. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Let's go and take a look here. Six destroyers sunk. There we go. Sunk a, uh, one of our destroyers, though. 
And Bobby. let's attack with all of our divisions. And we will have Sicily under our control now. And he shouldn't be able to retreat across either because our ships are blocking the way. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, lost two more submarines, man. Eh, continue losing the submarines, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and start merging these then. I'll bring these ones into this one. All right, and what happened to there? Oh, they're all repairing. Uh, we shouldn't have had automatic split off. I don't need one destroyer out there by himself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we shouldn't have that on. Do we have it on for anybody else? Let's just take a look. I don't want these guys to be a set to automatic split off. Okay, they, they, that was the only one that was set to that for whatever reason. They are about to beat us here, man. Bye. Shit. Yeah, that's unfortunate, guys. Yeah, we're about to lose there. So that division that's on his way down here, I don't think he's going to get down there in time. I'll just have to watch. I'm uh, probably not going to get down there in time, though. All right, so they're actually attacking us across there, trying to grab that port. And now these guys have relocated. Uh, now they're coming over here. All right. Yeah, Can we attack and win now? We cannot. Surprising. I mean, they're cut off from supply. I mean, we're all facing attrition. But they're facing much greater attrition than we are, and they can't get new, new equipment. Yeah, a little bit surprised by that, guys. All right, well, whatever. So Africa's not going well, uh, but Spain's going very well. Uh, they are losing territory there. All right, I'm glad we brought these troops over here. We can launch an attack, and we're going to go ahead and launch that attack now, in fact. I know they haven't got their planning bonus all the way up, and I know we're attacking into mountains with, you know, troops that aren't great at attacking into mountains, but it is what it is, guys. All right, so let's support with these. Try and get the wind, try and push down this way. Uh, winter is pretty much over, so we can now try and launch offensives again. And uh, we can even try and launch this way. Although, I think the problem is our equipment. I mean, we just don't have any damn equipment. I can't, uh, our economy just isn't able to to do it, guys. So this guy, we could have him move over here and then attack that way. I don't think this is going to work out quite the way I want, though. Uh, I think we are going to lose there. All right, so let's just go ahead and have him gum over here before we lose him. Uh, we just give it up, man. Just give it up and send all of our troops over to that port. Just kind of redo this because, yeah, we lost there. Got to admit when you lose, man, which we lost. All right, so the, the Luxembourg one is in May. Uh, so we're going to send that division over there so he can help us out, get that done quicker so we can send those divisions elsewhere. And they are actually winning here again. God damn it. All right, so let's go ahead and attempt an attack here. All right, and we're winning there as well. This will force us to go into the marsh land, and that's going to be rough. Uh, we are winning here as well. So we're getting little victories, little victories here and there, guys. Uh, we have gotten there, but you know, we need to get more troops there. Help us out, and then we're going to try and attack immediately as soon as we're done defending. Try and attack into the marshes. All right, let's take a look at the Africa situation here. And they actually stopped attacking there. Oh, no, they didn't. He's, he's right there. It's not that guy that was doing the attack. All right, uh, so let's go back down here and just make sure they're still cut off from port. Uh, they're, they're able to get one, though. Uh, and so we're going to try and get this guy beaten here. Let's see if we can do it. And then we'll attack over that way and try and... Well, can we attack him now? All right, we can't actually attack him. We'll see how this goes. Maybe I should have finished up the defense first. Yeah, we should have. All right, so we're getting those troops coming on. They're on their way. Uh, and we sunk a light cruiser and four destroyers at the cost of two of our own destroyers. And we lost, or we sunk another destroyer and sunk a convoy there. Okay. Still trying to get the defense done. Attacking over this way as well. And Korea joins the West Pacific Treaty Organization. Okay. Uh, so now let's go ahead and have this red front pulled back here. Only going to cover this. Let's attack straight ahead. Let's send one of these guys in and support. I know that using you know these troops attacking into marshes and mountains aren't probably isn't the most efficient thing to do, guys. What are these guys doing? Okay, I think they're repairing up. They're the ones that took a little bit, of, a few losses, it seems. Okay, uh, well, let's go ahead and give them some more destroyers then. Make up for the... I guess I think they lost three destroyers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they lost three destroyers. Uh, so let's go to give them a couple more destroyers. Place those losses. And also see what our port strike did. Did a little bit of damage to the destroyers. Okay. 
All right, so still trying to get that attack done there. Africa's been very distracting, guys. I have to keep dipping back down there. Uh, and they're actually winning across here as well. Damn it, man. <laughs> For every little foot uh, step we, we uh, every little foot forward, we take five foot feet back. Good God, I can't talk today, guys. Uh, don't even, don't even ask what the hell that sentence was supposed to mean. <laughs> so we can go in and get a uh, change to our, our modifier in our government. We could try and get some manpower, uh, try and fix that. Uh, but I feel like we have to fix this stability, guys. The stability is is serious, man, and uh, it's it's a major problem. I think we have to improve the working conditions, which is going to reduce factory output even more. Uh, it's unfortunate. I feel like we're forced to do it, though. Stability is in a bad place, and oops. yeah, I just don't think uh, we can afford to to let it sit here so low. Uh, not only is that affecting factory output and political power gain, and and and, and the resistance that we're facing in areas. Uh, most importantly, it's, uh, you know, it's could result in those really bad events happening. Bye. All right, let's go and attack down here for the south. They, they knew they couldn't attack here, so they just gave up, I guess. All right, we'll go and attack. That's going well. Uh, at least we're having some success somewhere. Because, uh, good God, we're not seeing a lot of success, guys. These guys are here now. Awesome. Let's go and have them move over here. Uh, and did we get... Ugh, they have another division over here. Damn it. All right, so when in here, where's that guy moving to? He's going to go grab the port. Shit. All right. Just a lot of problems, Got guys. Uh, we're not going to get there in time, I don't think. He gets there in uh, three days and eight hours, so I doubt we'll get there in time. Yeah, it says that we'll arrive at our destination in four days and 13 hours. I suppose if we attacked him, we might be able to stop it. Because, yeah, I don't want them to be able to break through here. Still trying to help out. we got to get this defense done. Maybe if we attack there. Yeah, maybe we'll do it in a couple days to attack them just to stop them just so we can get into that, get our division into that port. And yeah, having, just having uh, a lot of problems all across Africa. But remember, the Portuguese will soon be defeated. Uh, so they should really be having their divisions back home, honestly. Uh, so what we're going to want to do, let's go and have, yeah, they're already kind of doing it for us. but And then just stretch this out here. I don't expect them to get pulled into the war. It doesn't seem like they're going to. They must not be willing to, to join the conflict. All right, so this isn't going to work. Uh, so let's just go and stop it. Clearly, that's not working. All right, uh, so we did get here in time. Um, what we could do is now attack here with these divisions. Continue pushing forward. But yeah, we are just having a lot of problems, man. I don't know why these guys decided to, to you know, sit here and repair, uh, of all places. Why don't you go to the here, man? Yeah, go over there and repair. Good God. <laughs> all right, two more troop convoys there that we're about to sink. All right, let's just let this play. I'm going to turn this up a little bit so that when I'm not paused, it, it goes faster. Because, uh, yeah, we're not making a lot of success. Made uh, yeah, about two months. It's not quite as much as I wanted to see. Uh, but yeah, the equipment is a major issue, um, and can we go ahead, we might be able to get back over here now and get this port here. They are still technically cut off. Uh, let me see if we can't, well, he's a fool, yeah, that's probably not going to work. We need him to move somewhere. Alright, so we're going to get him there, so what we'll do is move these guys here and then these guys here. Let's see what we can do there. Uh, and, oh, damn, I forgot. Shit. All right, so that didn't work. All right, so let's go and go this way. Uh, so he doesn't have anywhere to... Well, we could let him leave. Can we beat him now? Oh, we can beat him. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, see if we can't get that division destroyed. And I think we have one more division Aye. making his way on up here. So we're slowly getting assistance there. All right, so we have... Um, Face no opposition here, guys. Absolutely none. So let's just go ahead and go all the way up to here. With all of our divisions, with the exception of this one, he'll go grab that. They do have 48 planes there as well. So these are all places they're able to use to, like, bomb us that they won't be able to bomb our planes from anymore. Uh, and I think the reason why we lost here, not just because it was a marsh, but also because we didn't have the planning bonus anymore because we had lost that. Uh, nobody's here. I think it's because they're currently moving divisions here, so we'll let them kind of readjust themselves. Attention. Let's move that guy over there instead. Attention. All right. 
So having little successes here and there, but overall it's been a uh, it's been rough. We got the interrogation techniques done. Uh, let's go ahead and go with I guess we'll go with the localized training centers next, and then after that we'll go with the decryption. Uh, so let me see here. Uh, so we lost one of our destroyers, unfortunately. I didn't know we had any destroyers assigned to here. Hmm. Yeah, that's strange. Because I'm pretty sure we didn't. Was that what? Was that their destroyer that was sunk? And I just misread it. It could have been. I mean, I misread that shit all the time, guys. So wouldn't surprise me. So we should be getting a bombardment bonus here. Yeah. All right. So that'll help. All right. So. I think we're about ready. We'll, we'll go ahead and get the, the full planning bonus. Let that division get the hell out of there. And yeah, try and get the full planning bonus. Try and attack them and see some success. These guys are attacking here now. Let's go ahead and attempt to launch another attack here. And that should be a win there. All right, it's so looking good there. And uh, these guys are now gonna try and cut us off here. Can we beat them? We get there in two days and 11 hours. They get there in three days and 20 hours, so we will beat them there. Uh, let's go and go ahead and grab this province now and try and get back to that port so that they'll be completely cut off from supply. Uh, and then let's bring this guy over to here. All right, and then we're gonna try and get all those divisions destroyed. Uh, so he's grabbing this province here. And uh, we are winning there. Uh, there's nobody here at the port, though, so what I'm going to do... Oh, well, what are they doing here? Uh, they're attacking us at the port. Okay. We're just barely winning. I'm surprised we're winning at all. Uh, let's actually go ahead and grab the port. I'm guessing the the CAD division's there, or he left. He might have left. He probably did. Uh, I don't know why they're not sending their troops home. They should be sending their troops home. They're losing back home. Uh, so it just doesn't make any sense that they're not uh, prioritizing that. Uh, they should be sending them back there. Uh, do we have any divisions that are done training? Not yet. Uh, still training Still training up. And uh, we're still just having just massive equipment problems, man. Support equipment, motorized, artillery, everything but infantry equipment, which we got from other countries when we defeated them. Uh, we got the military police, though. Uh, we could get them assigned. And they're, they're going to be lacking the support equipment, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, this would be advantageous because it won't require any uh, extra support equipment so yeah and overall it just gives us a suppression so it's just overall better uh, so let's go and save that and uh, they won't need any extra support equipment and that might get us like where we require less uh, here uh, so maybe we'll have more manpower and equipment overall because we don't need as much for the suppression still went in there when in most of these defenses, with the exception of this one province, where it's been an issue since we started this damn thing. Uh, so let me try and do the attack here now. And then we're going to go ahead and send one of these guys in. And see if this ends up being a victory. It's kind of waffling. I'll have to see how it goes. Uh, and did we get over here? Alright, we are having some difficulty here now. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead and have this guy come up here now. Attention! see if we can get the win there and then we'll send him to well I was we'll sending to the attack and then we'll have that guy cut off and we'll get him destroyed all right so let's grab the port behind him and now he'll be uh ready to be destroyed also we have a bunch of stuff here I didn't realize yeah I missed uh, they just notified us that we got the MPs and I got all excited <laughs> so we didn't get assigned. We need to work on, uh, well, yeah, we're only in 1940, never mind. Uh, so, I guess what we could do is do more MPs. Uh, I think that would probably help. Just anything to try and uh, require less. Uh, less manpower, less equipment there, I think would be useful. Uh, so, I think we need to go into, well, we have five going towards motorized. All right, well, let's go towards support equipment. That's what we're lacking the most of and having trouble building. And nothing really sunk there. So you'd expect that they'd pull some divisions to go down south. Uh, so far, I haven't seen that just yet. And there is Carlos Spain now in the war, but it's too late. <laughs> too late. Uh, they are they are destroyed, and and we don't have to worry about them. So that's good. Well, let me let me take that back. We do have to worry about them. We gotta go take all that over. Uh, and then we have this down here that we're gonna have to conquer as well. All right. It's a lot of uh, a lot of distractions, guys. Even more distractions in Africa now. 
All right, but luckily we have a lot of troops here to get some things done. Uh, he has decided to go, I think, right there. Uh, and uh, we'll let him for now. We're going to eventually attack him, though. And uh, we need to get that port first. And he'll be completely surrounded. And then we'll destroy him. All right, let's see what's going on over here now. Uh, so we're still trying to get that port there. Uh, I don't really want this guy to leave, so let's do an attack there. And let's attempt to grab that province. Uh, another port there. And we have another division here as well. All right, well, actually, then let's go ahead and send this guy over here to try and get this wrapped up. Oh, well, these two divisions Hello. should be able to do it. Hopefully. You would think two divisions could beat the one there. I guess we'll see. Alright, so we're just about done with the episode. We've got like a couple minutes left, and then we're going to have to end it here. Still doing the attack here. I really haven't seen anything change since we launched it. Nothing really different there. Uh, we did win there, uh, so that's good. Uh, looks like they did win here, though, so that's bad. <laughs> but I don't know if they're still moving there. It's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, we actually got there in time, so, but they were still moving there. They asked us to join the combat turn again. I already told you no. I don't want to be your friend. Uh, and did we get here? We did. All right, Result. let's attack and see how this goes. And it's a win. All right, awesome. So we're going to get that division destroyed. They trounced all over us, irritated the hell out of me. Uh, but eventually... Uh, we got them. All right, so now we need to go ahead and get all this wrapped up here, guys. So we're going to go ahead and take there first and then come over here. I don't know if there's any divisions in this area. Could very well be, and we just can't see them yet. Uh, and then let's go ahead and attack here. And then we'll try and destroy him. Uh, actually, we'll just have him go straight over there. All right, let's go and grab that port, and then we'll have to get all the way down to that port right there. All right, it's not as far as I thought. All right, we'll get to that port, and then any troops that are here will be cut off, and maybe we can get Africa finally wrapped up so I don't have to keep on dipping down here, man. Uh, though we still have to get all the, the Spanish territory in Africa, though. Uh, let's go and take the rest of this, and then these guys, once they finish up, will then come down here and start taking that territory for us. It's a big old sandstorm down there. All right, so we're starting to see some success, guys. Uh, it's just been slow. Very slow going. Attention. And maybe we might be able to get the win there and then get Venice. Yeah, if we can break through here, guys, this is going to be big. But the Italians are having success in uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, they've seen some success there. Uh, I wonder if we could win here. We would. All right, well, we're going to do the attack. And uh, how are things here? Uh, we did win there, so now we can go ahead and get these divisions assigned here. And uh, then go ahead and just try and wipe Result. them out. Finish that up there. And I don't know that we're going to be able to break through up here now. Uh, probably not, if I had to guess. We can actually win there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that attack. But at the very least, the point of this was that it, it caused them to pull troops off of the northern front where we're in the stalemate and just couldn't win. And it's like it's gotten worse. What happened here, man? We're winning. And just uh, all went to shit. Alright. I think we're going to just have to pull it back. That's unfortunate. I thought we had it. They are about to get there. Uh, let's go and have uh, this guy go here. He'll go here. And then we're going to pull one of these guys down here. Look at the equipment issues, man. So many equipment problems. Uh, so let's go and get this assigned. Again, I just feel like we have to go into support equipment. So that's our main shortage right now. Uh, we are actually losing this now. Good God. <laughs> All right, he'll have to help them then. He can't get it done. Uh, and yeah, we weren't able to get that done either. Uh, but uh, soon we'll be able to attack him with two divisions. Let me see if he can win now. No, we'll just stop them. Now, we are winning here, though, against those divisions. And what is the decision available? War propaganda against Carlos Spain, which we're not interested in doing. And uh, haven't really sunk a, a whole lot, unfortunately, uh, this episode. We sunk a little bit, but uh, we lost six destroyers there. Wow. Okay. Uh, a little bit surprised by that uh, was these guys here uh, that, we, that lost them. So let's go and replace them. Okay. And not getting, we'd have to move here to get the, nope, that, we'd have to move right there to get the combat bonuses. Let's actually have them help along the coast here. And then maybe that'll allow us to, to win that a little bit easier. Because yeah, it does seem like we can, we, they're weak here. We might be able to start pushing forward, take Florence, Laverno, 
or Livorno, whatever, uh, however you pronounce that, and then start moving towards Rome. Uh, but that is, in fact, going to be the end of the episode, guys. I made it a few months here, uh, about two and a half months. I'm bad for manually controlling all these divisions. Uh, and getting Africa ramped up, uh, getting this territory here taken, not a lot there as far as resources go. Uh, there's a little something, something, though. And then they they just had this one little territory here that's just that one rubber. And then here we've got one rubber. They also have this as well, but I don't know that we'll, we'll take that, guys. Probably not. I mean, could do a naval invasion, I suppose. If we have everything else wrapped up, then maybe we will. Uh, these guys need to get down here now. So let's go ahead and have them come over here. And we could be given planning bonuses. Uh, I think that's a big reason why we're not having more success here. Yeah, if we were doing that, then maybe we could uh, have been winning these a little bit easier. Same thing with these guys here. Um, nope. <laughs> that's not how we want that to look at all. All right, so that's fine. And then just, uh, so at least they're getting like a planning bonus on these attacks. I should have been doing this already, but I haven't been. And then same thing with these guys here. So, oops, damn it, I stopped them. Shit. All right, didn't want to do that, but whatever. Uh, let's go and do the attack again. All right, uh, so that looks good. Uh, still getting some troops trained up over here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the casualties and see how bad this has been for them. Uh, so overall, we our side's lost 996,000. The majority of that is from you know the, the Yugoslavians, the Spanish, and the Soviet Union. Uh, While well, they've lost 994,000, so technically they're kind of winning the manpower war, uh, just because they're, they're fighting against the common turn. Uh, we've lost a total of 69,000, uh, 65,000 against the Italians, 4,000 against the Portuguese. Uh, so for our 65,000, we have killed 327,000 Italians. Wow. That's pretty good, guys. That's not bad at all. We only have 16% of the war participation, though, so that's not great. Uh, as far as the other countries that we're fighting, uh, we're not fighting the Bulgarians. I haven't sent any troops over here yet. Uh, the Portuguese, we have killed 2.5 thousand. The Portuguese have beaten us. Uh, yeah, they, they've killed 4,000, so double the numbers. Uh, so they've been doing much better, uh, but they're about to be knocked out of the conflict. So, uh, And then Carlos Spain, we haven't really fought them at all. Uh, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, you know, 327,000 Italians killed. Uh, they're currently 49% towards capitulation. Uh, just taking a look here, about to get that division wiped out and destroyed. Uh, we're gonna advance up this way, and I don't know how much territory we'll be able to take down there because we don't have a lot of troops down there, and they're not that great either. Uh, and then we have a, a situation here where it does look pretty good, all green for the most part, with the exception of right there. Uh, but overall, we're doing pretty good. I'm trying to get this so that these guys here can't retreat, the ones that are advancing into Yugoslavia. Maybe we can even get the port behind them and then destroy them. Uh, so that would be really nice. So we'll try. Uh, here's the situation in Iberia, guys. They are done for. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, uh, People's Republic of Spain, which is is a, a potent, is an enemy, guys. That's an enemy. Uh, we actually have one extra province now that needs to be defended. It's not even worth having, honestly. We'll just go ahead and put, go up here. Uh, but yeah, it's not even worth having. Uh, so that's the current situation in Iberia. Uh, but overall, it's been a it's, it was a rough episode in this war, guys. We are having some extreme difficulties, uh, very low stability right now. Though we're going to be ticking that up soon, uh, and we're working with the work, improved working conditions to tick that up. Uh, and then of course we have a uh, you know this here is going to be another five percent. We got to get it up to fifty percent, guys. We absolutely have to. That's like imperative uh, that we get that a bit higher. But yeah, stability is just absolutely garbage right now. Of course, our production is garbage because of these some of these things here. Just uh, not having not having a good time when it comes to our equipment. Our equipment's like really bad. I almost want I almost want to like stop building planes. I mean, maybe we should stop. Maybe we should take it down some. Uh, we are building a lot more fighters than we probably need to, uh, but we can put those in the sky. Try and get control. Uh, we got more planes built, so yeah, maybe we should put these into you know other stuff here, man. Uh, since we're so short. Uh, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, as we Don't end here, we'll take a look and see if anybody has any upgrades. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, I do hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.